grow better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for TFNN. I just got the squeaking off, so let's get this up here so we can see it. I hope you can still hear me. Anyway, uh, this is the weekly SPY. This is probably my most important eight minutes on the air that I've given in 62 years, folks, believe it or not. This is what we're seeing in the weekly S&P. You'll see the 1.618 expansion. It's 597. We've hit 598 in the weekly. If you come over and take a look at this on some of the other things that we're watching, there is the NASDAQ. It made the ABCD. It dropped 100 handles from the high and now still trading below. It's not made new highs on the day as of yet. But look at this ABCD, folks, over the last eight, nine months. This is really quite spectacular. Probably won't work this time, but boy, you don't see it like this very often. The next one we're gonna take a look at here is the Russell. Let's get it up and you'll be able to see, here's the Russell making the weekly ABCDs. You can see the patterns just absolutely ABCD perfectly up here, 24.33. The high has been 24.29. We took out the previous day's high by a quarter cent and it's still trading at 24.03 down from the high, has not made new highs or come even close, neither NASDAQ nor the Russell, Russell being the second most important of the four indices. Now, as we look at the index here, for the daily chart of the S&P, you'll see that these gaps that are right here, folks, you see that? That has only happened four times in, um, well, not, well, let's put it this way. This particular pattern formation, where you have an explosive blowout to the upside like this, has only happened four times in the history of the stock exchange. First one was October the 2nd, 1987. You know what happened after that. The next one was the dot-com bubble in 2000. You know what happened after that. The next one was COVID in 2020. And you know what happened after that. And here we are again. All of the patterns on all of the indices have made perfect ABCD patterns. I mean, within 0.00, I mean, it's just uh, it's truly amazing to me. And the market's still going up. So maybe I'm gonna be wrong this time, but I'll switch over to moving averages. And that's certainly a possibility, but a far out one, I might add. Anyway, this is what we're watching here. I've not seen this before, folks. I'm bringing it to your attention because it really does mean something. Those statistics that I gave you uh, came from Jim Grant's uh, uh, letter, the Grant Observer. Uh, on interest rates, one of the all-time best uh, publications on Wall Street, and they brought those statistics uh, to us to tell us, you know, what we're watching right here. Also, folks, by the way, that uh, NVIDIA today is now a member of the Dow Jones Industrial Average, and I think what we should do, since we're on the air right now, let's go up and take a quick look here at NVIDIA and see what we're looking at right here. Hold on one second, we've got it up here. Very close to the ends, there's the NKMN, and then the, where's the end? Here's NVIDIA right here. We're going to put it up on an eight-minute chart. It is now in the Dow, and as you can see, it made a new high up here at 150. It's broken down, and it's had a little bit of a rally back, but that was a new all-time high in NVIDIA, folks. The old high had been 145. There was the big big move here, and now we're just sitting here uh, at the uh, 382 uh, uh, retracement. Now, I wanted to go over a couple of small things here to, to show you what we were doing today. Our best trade of the day, folks, I have to show you because sometimes you screw up. And boy, this is how I started the day. We had an ABCD here at 2708. And out of the, just, just by not even thinking that there's a 786, I said, put the buy stop at 2711. Well, 
folks, I put the order in here and we got filled in a matter of seconds. And then I realized that this is a 786. I always use a $5 stop and I didn't. And it cost us $2,000. However, uh, excuse me, a little over $1,500, but we made some of it back. You can see here, we made a 382 retrace and we didn't get those filled because we were doing other things. But uh, there's a place where when you really have everything lined up perfectly and yet you put your stop too close, you cannot trade a quarter of a million, $270,000 stock with a $3 stop. Minimum is $5. So you put it above the 786, no problem. I didn't and that started us off on the wrong on the wrong foot. However, we've had a pretty uh, we, we we're making some progress now on the positions that we do have, and that's the main thing that we're really watching here uh, today. We had a really great time. I wanted to show you uh, one of the patterns that we were looking at closely today. You talk about harmony in the markets, folks, and this and this is this is totally incredible. Look at this. This is the this is the euro. There's your first 382 retracement right here, folks. Okay. Missed by one tick, okay? There's the second one, missed by one tick. And here we are coming again, and we probably got another one coming up here right now. And there it is. Oh, no, it's already above the 50% right now. So uh, this has been what's happening now. This is where we, we were going to buy the long position here. But the reasoning was, and I went through this with the folks, and this is what we do when we teach during the time that we're trading. This is so far below the opening price, and you have two 382s, it's telling you that the market is incredibly bearish. In fact, it exceeded the ABCD by a great deal to the downside. So that's what we're paying attention to. Now, those of you that belong to the 24-7 group, uh, you'll be happy to know that our bond position is up two full handles. I haven't checked it recently, but uh, that was our, profit, our price objective. Let's get that up here so that we can quickly take a look at it. And um, the other one that's just, well, I'll just bring these up one at a time. Here is the uh, Treasury bonds. Okay, we got up to here to 09. Uh, we bought this thing way down here. So 22, uh, one, one, 117.25 was two full handles. There was your 786 right here, backed off a little bit. And we tried a little tiny short here for five pips, lost that. But, you know, we've made a lot of money on the long side of the bonds. This is where you want to be taking your profits, folks. You made two grand. You're risking 500. That's a four to one, uh, you know, flip flop. And that's what you're looking for. You got great, you know, it might go higher and it could go lower. But let's just, you know, make sure you take your profit on this. And that's what you're really trying to do. Now, we have the British pound short. And let's get that up here so that the folks can... Uh, see what we're doing in the British pound. Those of you that have been on the show, you've heard me talk about it many times. Uh, we just missed that old 382 up here. You can see this was, on, let's get the hourly up so we can see it easily because we missed it by a heartbeat right up here. That number came in on the 382, came in there at 306 and we missed it. We had our order setting at 306. It only got to 30470 and we're still going down. But remember folks, we are ahead on this particular 15 handles, folks. We sold it here. Okay, now there's a four-day rally. It just missed the 382. That is not bullish, folks. So this is exactly what we're doing because we think that this has a possibility. Looking at the weekly, and we've got a possibility. Uh, let's move this over just a little bit because what we want to do is I did... Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. 
Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Hey folks, this is the same type of trade we had when we were short bonds for that period between 164 and 121, uh, excuse me, 10, 106. You can see here from the high that we made back here, the market came down about 14 weeks. You can see what we're looking at right here. We're expecting it to come to that level. And that gives us verification that if you took the low that we had during when the bank was having a trouble, you'll see that brings you guess to where, folks. The exact 3A2. Now, if that happens, that means we're <clears throat> 23 from 41. <clears throat> that means we're going to have almost a 19 handle win on that if it works. Now, of course, our stop is right in here right now. But if we get there, that's going to be a huge move. Now, you don't watch it. You just keep it away. You know, put your stop in and don't even look at it during the day because people that are watching these things are watching the money because it. Not like the day when I was trading on the floor. When I traded on the floor, we didn't get our equity runs till the next morning. We didn't know where we stood. We didn't know if we had a position or not. Now you're within seconds and you, you, you trade like a floor trader. This is really good. Now, this pattern also is important because as we were looking at this, you can see we made a beautiful butterfly pattern right up there at the 786. I mean, it was just spot on. That's why you didn't have to risk very much at that point. And here's where we are heading down uh, right now. Okay, so those are the main ones that we're watching today. But the most important one, from my perspective, is to watch the stock market because it has so many things on the negative side of the coin. And I'm talking about pattern completion, folks. I've looked at all four of these indices. What I made a mistake on before was in the Dow Jones. I only looked at the Dow. I hardly ever look at the Russell. And when I saw it on the weekly, it made a higher high in the week, folks, by one tick. One tick. With the Dow Jones and the uh, S&P going absolute nuts to the upside, Russell couldn't even make new highs by more than a half a cent, and it's still trading, you know, 30 handles below that. So that's not doing well. And the NASDAQ, is, even though it's made new highs, it has not exceeded the high that we made last night at the 1.618 expansion at 21,000, uh, excuse me, 22, uh, <laughs> 21, uh, 21.265, that was the high in the NASDAQ, and we were trading substantially below that one today. But I did want to show you one other one that we were working on today that looks kind of interesting as we come up here and take a look at it. This is the corn. We had a beautiful pattern here in corn. 
you can see we'll get the uh, uh, with this over here we were looking to be as, let's get the daily yard that's what we were doing this on the daily said we were going to get up here to 434 and we hit there and we backed off about seven cents we're now trading at 429 and that's what we're looking at right here this was a perfect setup as a matter of fact that we said early in the morning when it was trading here at 26 it was going to get there and it did one two three four five six days up one two three four five six seven days up so those are the things we like to see the last time we had a run like this we'll come over and look at it put it right there from the low one two three four five six seven eight days up six seven eight days up means something in corn so that's why you got a good shell on this you match the high here take it out by a quarter of a cent folks a quarter of a cent and it doesn't go anywhere and your order sitting there at 34 you can't ask for that it makes a high of 34 and three quarters over the last two months and I mean what else you have to say for heaven's sakes I mean that's exactly what it's doing and there's your a B C D let's draw that in for you folks so you'll be able to see it that's all that is it's just a little a B C D I was just listening to Basil uh, they're having the services for my dear friend uh, Tom O'Brien tomorrow and uh, I wish I could be there but unfortunately I'm not able to I'll certainly be there in spirit because that is a stand-up guy folks I met a lot of wonderful people in this business and he's right up there at the top of all of them I've known him 24 years I've never had anything that uh, could ever say negative about him I love the fact that he's so positive with his little cars that he uses and he raised his two beautiful children and grandchildren uh, he's loved by everybody I mean he and Steve Forbes are like best buddies and I'll tell you, I, uh, he, he's going to be missed. And he had a terrible cancer, pancreatic cancer, that took uh, Michael Landon and Steve McQueen and a whole bunch of other folks. But uh, he was a great guy. And his son is carrying on the torch. So any support you can give us here at TFNN will be appreciated. Tommy's been running the place for quite a while. But, uh, you know, we're going to miss Tom because his is certainly going to miss that because he's a... Uh, I still have tears in my eyes when I think about it because he left so quickly and it makes it really, uh, really tough to, to think about that as you as you go through thinking about some of the stuff that goes on in our lives, you know, very quickly. Okay, let's get on here and talk about a couple other things. We've talked about the Treasury bonds. Absolutely beautiful trade. We had a nice trade in the gold the other day. Let's get that gold chart up here because uh, we want to review that because it was a... Uh, interesting one to take a look at hello operator where's the gold let's get this I'm a little bit tired folks because I've been doing this since about four o'clock this morning and I just want to come here with the gold where are you gold right here here's where we were the other day now on on we've had a couple of big moves here this week folks here was the big one this was your ABCD right here at your 786 okay Right there, we bought it at 251, excuse me, 2651. There's your 382 retracement on the whole thing right up here, 2708. And then you come down, and all you've done so far today, there's your low, there's your high. You'll see you came and you stopped just about the 382. Then you rallied up, and then you come back to it again. This is highly suggestive, but this sharp move down like this. This, high, this is where we sold right there at oh we sold at 08 and got stopped out at 11 this is sad anyway un unfortunately that's part of trading but anyway that means that you're going to have another test in the gold market coming in here really quickly probably today or over the weekend down about another 20 bucks at 2678 folks if we get below 2678 on this move right here this move that you had right here now what you have to do is you've got to move this over just a little bit because remember, we had a high back here at 2801, right? So you've got to clear all these things out so that you can see where that 382 came in. So clean this out too. Just there's where we are. There was our high 2801. That was the one with the double ABCDs. If you remember, now you come here and take a look. There's your high right here. And there's your 382 coming in here this morning at 2708. Okay, little boom, bang, boom, bing, and boom. It's just getting ready to come down into this level right here. There's a very high probability. Looking at the month, uh, let's go to that four-hour. 
Let's do the 4R because that's the one that will tell us that 1808, I believe. There it is right there. There's your 1808. That was the long-term 618 of this move right here. Let's get this up here and you'll be able to see it. There it is. right. When you see 1.618, folks, you just get to have your dancing shoes. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So sorry very much. And this is what we've got going today, folks. This is what we've got going in all of these charts. You see these charts up here? This is all the stock market starts. They're all 1.618. Yelling and screaming up and down. Sell me, sell me, sell me. And nobody's doing it. So I must be wrong. That's the way it is. Sometimes it's chicken salad. Sometimes it's chicken poop. It depends on how you mix it. And we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks, want to show you woulda, coulda, moulda, might have done it, but it didn't do it. Here's the one we were looking at before the market opened was to be a seller right here. 
The problem was, folks, it's an hourly chart, and we came on board here, had our order setting there, missed this by three pips, and then continued to drop down quite a bit. That's all part of trading. But you can see what we're looking at here is we had a short-term, you know, lower highs. There's a one, three. Now, it's not very good as far as there's better. There's a one, three, five pattern right here. But you had a 61% retracement off of the high, plus you had a 78% retracement off of the lower high, had everything that you could possibly ask. And you can see misses it by Harpy. We were looking at the 618. We missed it by just a little bit in here. And then it came down. And we tried to nibble at it right here. Lost 100 bucks, but uh, that was a nip. And we also had one in the Treasury bonds that we lost five pips on. Uh, those were really small losses. And that was uh, pretty much it. But we're watching the stock market because, folks, look where we are here. Right now, this is the Dow Jones. Uh, and remember, this is the Larry. Stop it, Larry. This is the hello, as you can see right here. This is the E mini SP, and this is where we are. You move it over here. There you go. See it where it is. There's your low that you made right back here. You notice this early morning low here was right at the 382. We're now at the 1.27. We just made new highs on the day. We're not making new highs on the Russell. We're not making new highs in the NASDAQ, and we're not making new highs in the Dow Jones, but the S&P is the big daddy rabbit, so that's what's going on right now. This has got, I have to show you the New York's, uh, take a deep breath, Larry, SPY, that's the one I want to show you. There's your SPY, and I'm going to get it up here on the daily round, because I want to show you this. This is, this is uh, we've never seen this before, all right, folks? Now, there's the 1.618 expansion, 59874. The high today has been 59835, and this is delayed a little bit. So 59874, look at these gaps. This gap right here, there were more stocks going down on that day than there were going up because the S&P is cap weighted. So these stocks that are heavily uh, weighted with their price, and their capitalization, they move it quite a bit. Intel, some of these other things don't move anything. So that's why. Look at this. We have a gap here, a gap here. We're right at a 1.61 on the daily and weekly. It comes in at 59874. I don't know what the high has been so far in the S&P because the S&P futures are just back, just made new highs just now. The other high here was at uh, 27. And we just went smashing through it at 28. So it just made a new high on the day. So that's uh, that's what we're paying attention to here uh, on this particular one as we look at it. As you see the Dow Jones, you see it's down quite a bit from its high. Well, not quite a bit, but a little bit. It's still going lower. And the, the Russell, much lower. You can see, well, it's moved up a little bit, but still far, far below the high that we made yesterday. This high that we took out yesterday made a new high folks by one tick on the monthly chart that's what led us to believe that there's something really big going on here because there's the weekly right here we took that out by just a heartbeat and that's where we this is what we're looking at right now here uh, with the Russell as we watch this uh, unfolding here uh, today all right now let's take a look at some stocks because people are interested in them and uh, I'm sure we will let's start with Tesla Let's see, it should, oh my goodness, this is a daily chart of Tesla. Shut the front door and raise your hand. Well, there, there's, that puts 1.618 at ease. Look at this. It went through it like it didn't even exist. Boy, look at this right here. Holy moly, guacamole. I guess everybody's going to be driving a Tesla everywhere. Let's see how Apple is doing today. Let's get Apple up here so we can take a quick look at Mr. Appel, who's down by the well. He's up next here. Oops, a little bit more here. But some of these monster gaps that we're seeing on these Dow stocks are blowing me away. Now, you can see it's down a little bit from its high of the day. Let's just see if it went up to a 382 and stopped. Oh, it went to the exact 50%. It's trading at the 382 right now. So nothing big happening there. The one that is really making the Dow go wacko is the most expensive stock, which is Unilever. Oh, I better check United Healthcare because I think maybe Goldman Sachs might have passed it up. And here is United Healthcare. It's up again. You see, it's up another 15 points. That's quite a bit because this this is the highest capitalized stock. Let me check with 
Goldman Sachs, just to be safe, because I don't trade these stocks, but I talk about them, which is easy because I don't really know what I'm talking about. Well, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. This was why you get a 1500 move in the Dow Jones, folks. 510 to 600 in one day, one stock, and it's cap uh, price weighted, so it's got a huge weight. Look at some of the others here that are out here with these monsters, especially these banking stocks. Just want to show you JP Morgan. Okay, we'll just get it, and I just get up. That's Johnson and Johnson, Larry. Get the brakes. Okay, look at the giant gap that we have here. Now, look, we've come back and given some of that back. Let's correct this. Yeah, see, there's where you are. Look at that. That's amazing. This is a uh, fact that it's it's actually it's down on the day though after this big run up. It's actually backed off quite a bit. Now, why didn't it keep running? Now it's backed off for two days. That that's a that's a strange phenomenon too. All right, now let's. I, I don't want to go through these because you've seen all these gaps, but they're. <laughs> They will be filled. The question is, will it be done in my lifetime? That question I can't answer. But if we're correct, it's not going to get much uh, better than, than it is today. That's the way it looks to me, looking at all these 1.6.8s. Remember, there's two hours to go here, folks. This is a long time in the old trading history book, so they could easily go up and make new highs. And, you know, here I'm going to be eating uh, – Sauerkraut. Again, of course, I love sauerkraut, so that's not a problem. It's a great, great Italian dish. The Germans think they started it, but no, it was the Italians. Okay, th this is the Dow Jones. Let's look at the Dow Jones on the daily here because I think this is important. You see, what we've done today is from this high down to this low, the 127 came in at 4067. We're already 100 handles above that, folks. This is where we sold it at 40.67. We're setting with a loss. Our stop is up here at 42 and change. And that's all we can do now. Came down just a minute ago, almost to break even, but we're playing this for something really big because this could be, these three days might be an outlier event due to the euphoria that's brought to the stock market. Uh, the work by Jim Grant says, yes, that's what it's going to be. But unfortunately, uh, we don't trade with Jim Grant. We trade with ourselves here. And if the market's going against us, there's not else, not much else we can do. And so that's what we're trying to do here as we move on and look at some of these other stocks that we want to be looking at. And if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer. One of the questions just came in was, was about uh, Bank of America. It also had a, uh, a huge gap, which 14%. Oh, my God, how can anybody buy this stock? But they're making money, I guess. There's the Bank of America. It's to made a higher high. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer. The Opening Call Newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. 
published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, uh, this is the Bank of America chart. You can see I've drawn in the ABCD pattern. It measures to 45.34. The high so far has been 45. 55 so it missed it by quite a bit 10 cents so you can't really count ABCDs there we look at this just a little closer there's a whole bunch of other ABCDs here that probably came into this same area there's your ABCD right there that comes in at 4408 and then of course we have the last one which is right here your ABCD that brings you into maybe a future price 4626 so this is the zone we're looking at. Uh, there's a big breakaway gap to the upside. This is the one that's most important, folks, because look at this real closely. Just move this out here. Just draw it from the bottom. You'll see this took 10 days to complete, folks. And look, look, stop it, Larry. There's your low right back here. There's your high. Here's your 10-day correction. Oh, it doesn't even get to 382. It goes to 27, and then boom. Well, that should have been telling you because you had a – actually, you had a little bit of a – see, it was supposed to go here. It didn't, but look look what happened here. See, whenever you see this, always buy the night before you have a big gap up like that. Very, very important. Always buy before you have a big move to the upside, like right here and then down to – folks, you don't know where these are going to happen like that. You, That's what options are for because if you have a stop in there, it doesn't make any difference. It's going to go through it by – this one here, probably five points, 10% or something. So you've got to be really careful. Uh, and even when, you, even when you're careful, you can still get banged around a little bit. All right. All I can tell you, folks, those four stocks that I've seen, those indices, beg my pardon, I haven't slept yet tonight, but I will tonight. Uh, that Those are the four most bearish charts I've seen together as a group ever in 62 years of doing this. I mean, ever. That's a, we got three drive to a top patterns in all of them. Russell, Dow Jones, S&P, and NASDAQ. All of them doing the same thing at the same time, finishing up this week. Very, very exciting things. Now, that doesn't mean they're not going to go somewhere, but that's, uh, that's neither here nor there. So let's get rid of the Bank of America here. And we had a question about crude oil. So we'll get crude oil up here. This is one of the things that we had a trade on today. Let's get up here. And believe me, folks, we didn't stay very long. We took a very small loss. And it was right here. Uh-oh. Trouble in River City, guys. I can't find it. Well, shucks. Well, I'll get it out of here eventually, so not to worry. Okay, let's move on to the next one here, which is uh, Caterpillar. Someone asked about the cat. 
Here we are right here, Caterpillar. This ought to be screaming to the upside. Shoo! Big island reversal today. What's going on over here? How can stock market be up with this one getting hit? Look at that. They trap everybody here, and then it gaps down. Let's put that volume in there. Well, that's not volume. That's a volatility spot. Stop, and I know that's not any good, so I get this out of the way. Okay, there's your breakout here to the upside, and then it gaps down. That's an island reversal, folks, just like this one was. You see that? Gaps down, ooh, not good. That's what you look for if you're trying to find something, either long or short, that you can put on somebody else, and they'll be happy to take it, but that's what you have to do, and you can see Today's action, I mean, we gapped down, and we've been from 4 to uh, 11, and also with the uh, decals or the free food and stuff, love it. Tom was such a generous host here, folks, uh, just unbelievable. I miss him a great deal. He was such an entertaining person and just uh, cared for everybody, knew everybody's name at all the restaurants and stuff. It was uh, real pleasant. He was a stand-up guy, folks. you got to remember that. All right, let's take a look at a coming trade, okay? Let's get up here. And this is not ready yet, but it's on the help list. This is soybean meal. There it is right there. And as you can see, we've had several inside days. These five days right here, the market tried to make a bottom and didn't. That's because we're waiting to buy December meal at 281. That would be right there, 281, with a stop below that is uh, 28.73, and that would be a uh, also. But you can see here, we've got, see the ABCD patterns right here, ABCD, I, I drew those in, ABCD. When these things finally get ready and you get down to that point, make sure that you use, you know, a, uh, what do you call it, uh, a jacket and some type of a dossier to say that you're here to do business because other than that, they're not going to listen to you. But anyway, this is why it's so important is to have a plan. And this is our plan here in soybean meal. This is a daily. If you look at the weekly, and I'm going to show it to you on the weekly because this is a long time in coming. But you can see here, here's where we are. This is the one we're waiting for right here. Down about another 10 bucks. And uh, that's what you want. 281 in December meal, that's what you're looking for. Don't worry about this. 281 comes in right there. So use that as your guidepost for going home with somebody or running away from them, whatever you have to do. But uh, that's a good thing to pay close attention to because if they get off color here a little bit, you don't want to get involved with some of these people that think they're selling something to you. But in fact, what they're trying to do is to uh, get all your money and not give you anything. So... That's not a good thing to do. Okay, that's the soybean meal. Now we want to look at the soybean oil. This was one that we looked at very closely this morning, and we turned it over to one of our attendees who really knows soybean meal. You can see here, we just missed our sell point here. 15, excuse me, 49.7. Try it again, Larry. 49.24. The high today was... 49.05. We were looking to do it at 49.04. We're trading at 48.91, folks. The chances of it getting up here, 49.38, is somewhere above 100% because it didn't take that trip for no reason. It's going to match the old high that we made back here, which was 98.89, and this is going to be 99.06. So we're only a little more than uh, less than 20 cents away. So we've got to be watching this right here. There's your 1.618 expansion. It's a movement of 49.36, and that's a good one to be looked at. Now, I don't know if they have uh, the things that they post about some of the things that uh, he keeps on his desk, but evidently he doesn't, so we're not bringing that. But he's got some wonderful teaching tools there on his desk here at the offices of TFNN. But he'll be moving upstairs into management just shortly, folks, and then he'll be harder to see, but... Always in our thoughts, that's for sure. Tom O'Brien is missed, but uh, his family and uh, Steve Rhodes and myself and all these other folks are going to make it uh, a lot of fun here because uh, it was really a family here, folks. It really was. He was treated you like a member of the family. I mean, just uh, stone cold. <laughs> I'll tell you that story someday. Today's not the day to do it. Let's get him 
put it piece and then we'll talk about some of his stories at another time. So I think we about ready to take a break here and we are, we'll be right back folks. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I'm going to leave you with this chart right here. The last nine months of the S&P Cash, the SP ETF. You notice that little red box up here, it says 5841 at the very top. The high so far today has been 5878, I believe, just making new highs just a minute ago. And so it's in that zone. There's your 1.618. You can see the gaps. This has only happened three times, folks, in history. And the other three times were Mar uh, 1987, October 2nd, before the stock had collapsed. Second time was the dot-com bubble. Stock gave back more than 85% of its value to the Mazdaq. Wow, Mazdaq. <laughs> and finally, COVID in 2020. And now we have this fourth one coming up right now. And that is due this week. So this is the end of the week. So we're going to find out if it is in fact working. But as we say, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Those are the things that we're trying to put together to show you what we're looking at. Now, I'll get back to... Uh, 
A couple of charts here that someone asked me about. One second, and we'll get up here. Well, we haven't got much time left. Let's get up together and take a quick look at it right here. Amazon, where are you? Amazon. There it is. Should be as free as a bird. There it is. Oh, boy, big gap up on Amazon. And they shut the front door. wonder how uh, Stevie was able to... Um, Get that. Look at that big gap up. Boy, oh boy. And not only that, it's been gapping. Let's just check this out. This is a beauty here. Whoa, shut the front door and raise the rent. You look at this, boy. These uh, tickets for some of these people is rather high. Oh, my God. Look at that. Right up there at the old 127. You have to love it. Living good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Anyway, folks, uh, try to do something nice for your neighbor or neighbors because there are a lot of them are having a lot of trouble it's easy for you to pick up something for them to take or take them to the doctor or pharmacy bring them a hot meal whatever you can do do it so live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may god bless Steve Rhodes started his trading